All right, so there are rumors of Roku getting bought out by Netflix, and these rumors come from Business Insider that had an article. Now, Roku has an internal policy where they continuously allow employees to buy stocks, but for this upcoming quarter, they prevented employees from doing so. But there's no confirmation on either side of Roku or Netflix stating that there's a deal in place. Now, the rumor alone had Roku up 10%, but let's take a look at both companies before you make any decisions. So Roku is down over 60% year to date. And if you look at the one year chart, it's down 73%. Now at all time highs, it was up around $480. And now it's currently trading at $92. Now Roku isn't a massive tech company compared to the other FANG stocks. But if you look at their market cap, it's currently trading around 12 billion. But even though it's a small company, it's had a relatively strong market share compared to the other streaming platforms. But it's had a decline in market share from 2019 when it was around 39% to its current 36%. But you can see here that the major competitor to Roku is the Fire TV, which is owned by Amazon. And year over year, it's been continuously taking market share from Roku. Only a small part of Roku's revenue comes from its actual physical players. A majority of it comes from its ad platform. A majority of the revenue within the platform comes from its subscriptions and its ad services. But this is where the rumored connection between Netflix and Roku makes sense. For the past year, Netflix has been discussing about adding ads to its lower tier services to increase its revenue for the platform. Now there's no talks about how these ad model may be in place, but a lot of people speculate where it might be like Hulu, where there's a lower ad model and you just have to pay more to get no ads. Now, if you were to take a look at the stock price year to date, it's down around 67%. And in the past year, it's only down 60. Now a majority of these drops are coming directly after the earnings where it talks about it's losing market share and subscribers. Now this loss of market share to Netflix shouldn't be a surprise as all the competitors such as Prime, HBO, Hulu, Disney Plus, and Apple TV have been increasing in the space. Now, all of these services have exclusive IP that Netflix doesn't have, so a lot of consumers have been using their services. Now, it's reported that in 2021, Netflix spent around $17 billion acquiring content, so it's not out of the realm of possibility that they may spend something like $14 billion to acquire a service such as Roku. But here's a few hypotheticals for if Roku were to actually get bought out by Netflix. Now, it's no surprise that the sector and the industry has been waiting for Netflix to do something more than just create content, whether it be moving towards additional software services or an advertisement based revenue. But if Netflix were to choose to buy out Roku, this might expedite their service towards a different advertisement stream. But if Netflix were to directly buy out Roku, it would have additional competition from Amazon and Apple, not on just their streaming platform, but also on their physical devices. So Netflix would have additional problems, not just streaming, but also on their software, on their physical hardware, and all other aspects. Now, personally, I like the idea of Amazon trying to buy out Roku. Amazon has plenty of discretionary money to buy it out just outright. And if they were to do that, it would completely take over the market share with its Fire devices. But let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below and if you see this going through. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like or subscribe so I can continue making content just like this. And if you're interested in what stocks that Warren Buffett and Michael Burry are purchasing, I went through their 13Fs, so feel free to check out that video.